Hi there, YouTube land people. So anyway, I just wanted to talk a little bit about my road trip from Denver, Colorado. I sold my house, in case you don't know. So glad I got rid of that thing. And yeah, just it's an, it was an old house. I just didn't want to put any more money into it and I wanted to get out of debt and go somewhere cheaper because as you may or may not know, Denver, Colorado, the prices are just going crazy there lately. Anyway, um, yeah, I did drive myself in a U-Haul all the way to Texas and I did take a lot of back roads and the way I did that, and I did that without without a GPS, by the way, and the way I did that was I just used, like, before I left, I used Google Maps, and I typed in the address, my destination of the hotel, where I'm now staying, this crappy hotel, it's got a little um, kitchenette over that way, and a bathroom over that way, and... I got my air purifier right there. I don't watch that. That's some kind of television. I unplugged it and have my air purifier. Anyway, so where was I? Yeah, I'm, I typed in the address to where I was going on Google Maps. And you know how they have like a little drop where you can take the little guy, the little, there's like a little man and you take him and you can take him to any location and just drop him? Well, I did that at every intersection that I felt like this might be a, a point where I get lost because a lot of the a lot of intersections were like very small signs out in the middle of nowhere one road it, it just felt like I was just going in the middle of nowhere but luckily see I would have gotten lost if I hadn't done this but what I did is I knew that was a uh, certain points where I would potentially question which way I go and so I dropped him in that, that one location. I'm so glad I did that because when I did that, I saw there were these like concrete type um, store, either storage thing bins or they weren't grain bins. I don't know what they were, but they were some kind of strange looking in the middle of nowhere. We're talking like nothing, okay? And just these concrete storage bins. And I'm thinking, okay, perfect. So I made a note and, uh, and I wrote my directions down, every street, every detail. You have Some towns you have to get off the freeway, like when I drove through, what was it, Lublock or something like that. You actually have to get off the freeway, drive a little bit through town and there was like a little tiny street sign. You have to turn there. I knew I would miss that if I didn't write down um, some kind of, um, what do you call like when you see something and you remember it what was it called I can't think right now but um I'll think of it in a minute but anyway on that corner where I had to turn to get back on the highway there was a hotel and I wrote that down I made mental notes I wrote them down and it was easy this way I didn't get lost I didn't have to worry about passing up some little tiny sign and getting lost with a U-Haul I never got lost not even once um, there were some times when I kind of questioned and I wish I would have had a little more detail. Like when I got into Amarillo, Texas, I didn't realize that there were actually like two highways that were almost identical. And um, by the way, best pizza ever was in Amarillo. I don't know what it was, but that pizza was so good. I don't know. I don't think it's because I was hungry. I was very hungry. I got into Armorello like around. They stayed open late, so I already I knew I'd get in there in Armorello late. And um, I so I googled a pizza place that was open late, and I found this one. I think it's open to like twelve o'clock. I think I got in there around ten, ten thirty or so. Uh, it was called Olson's. If you're ever in Armorello, Olson's Pizza. It's on the street. The same. The street name is also called Olson. Best pizza I've ever had in my life. If I ever go to Amarillo again, I would definitely stop there and have pizza again. It was so fresh. The crust was crispy, yet not too crispy. Fresh. The flavors all just perfectly blended together. All the toppings were totally fresh toppings. They didn't taste stale or old or 
it wasn't like a greasy old like junk food pizza right it was like totally fresh i never had a pizza so fresh so good in my life okay so i guess enough with that and i was pleasantly surprised with the hotel that i stayed at um it was like a hundred dollars a night i wasn't expecting much but it was a really nice hotel unlike denver which was like my worst hotel experience ever the night before my house closed just to kind of go back in time a little bit so the night or the day before my house i had to go to closing i did not want to stay because in the house because i wanted to be close to the title company so i could just get up in the morning you know and drive my i already have my u-haul packed the day before so i wanted to have everything ready to go and that way i could just drive my u-haul just straight down the road to the title company so i stayed at this hotel it was like around a hundred dollars a night i was expecting it to be okay i wasn't expecting it to be a nightmare hotel it was such a bad hotel i never even got to sleep never it was loud there were doors squeaking and shutting all night the sheets were like sandpaper the toilet didn't work uh, I, I was totally frightened there the whole night like people standing around outside my door it was crazy dangerous scary and this is in Cherry Creek you would think of all places because Cherry Creek is supposed to be really nice this was like the worst hotel in my life and I've been in some really yucky hotels in my life because I'm one of those people that I just don't want to spend a lot to me like a hundred dollars is a lot of money to spend for a hotel so you would think you would think it would be halfway good it was not even and don't ever stay there uh, the name it was in Cherry Creek it was called what was the name it wasn't extended stay in Cherry Creek it was the one right next to extended stay so if you google you know Cherry Creek hotels you'll see an extended stay and then right next door to that I don't remember the name of it. It had like a kitchenette, a refrigerator, but for a hundred dollars, it should have been a lot nicer than sandpaper for bed sheets and people walking in and out all night long. You could hear the door. It squeaked. It was loud. Doors shut heavy. They slam and toilet that didn't work. And, um, I never got any sleep. It, I couldn't get comfortable. It, the bed was horrible. And I did, these are my own pillows. I don't use hotel pillows. These are all my own. I, I take the hotel pillows and I throw them under the bed along with the bedspread. This is my own bedding and stuff. I don't use hotel bedding. It's, it's yucky. And But no, I didn't have time to strip off the sandpaper sheets and put my own on. I, everything was packed in my U-Haul. I only had like one carry bag on with me um, with extra clothes my toothbrush and stuff like that I wasn't thinking that for one night I would need to change the whole bed and um, if I could do it over again I would not have stayed there it was horrible anyway nice hotel in Amarillo though for the same amount a lot nicer like like unbelievably nicer like it was granite countertops whole a whole full kitchen and uh, a separate bedroom it was like like staying in a luxury suite compared to worse than prison I would say I would say that hotel I've spent a night in jail before I would say a night in jail was about equal or maybe even a little better I'm not even kidding you that's how bad it was no okay not better but about the same never got to sleep and I'm, I'm surprised I, I made it to the title company and I'm surprised I made it all the way across Texas halfway anyway to Armorello and yeah the whole the next day without any sleep so yeah Armorello was nice the pizza place was great continuing on um, some highlights of my experience well this isn't so nice but driving through this one area before I got to Armorello it was really pretty and lots of um, scenery like you had like some hills and mountains and some grassland and there were these like little birds I don't know what they were but this is kind of traumatizing but one flew um, into my window it didn't like splatter but I heard it like not like went like that like it hit the 
I don't know why they do that. Like, why do why do these little birds have to fly like right across your windshield? Anyway, that was not too good of an ex experience, but you know, pretty scenery there out in the middle of nowhere. I would never drive my own car that far because you know, uh, for one thing, I don't buy. I don't. I never. I've never bought a new car in my life. I always buy used cars. So that was why. Another reason why I wanted to drive a U-Haul, it only had like 25, I think, thousand miles on it. So it was fairly new, a new U-Haul truck. And it was a lot easier to drive than I thought it would be. And on the highway, it got pretty good gas mileage. I only had to get gas like two times. So, yeah. And um, I returned it on the same amount of gas that it had in it. That's how they wanted it, which was like just over a quarter of a tank. So I didn't get charged for that, and I cleaned it myself because I've heard that if you did take them back dirty, they'll charge you a cleaning fee. So I sweeped it all out, and I cleaned the cab. And um, there was some mud because one of the gas stations had like some puddles of water, and there was a little bit of mud it got in the cabinet. So I took my um, broom, little um, small broom, and. I like I have a handle one that you use and I, I dipped it in the water and, and I took a little bit of water and I poured it on the floor where the mud was and I just sweeped it all out and, it, and I took um, I think like paper towels and I just wiped it all up and it was good it looked good they when I took it back they checked it out and they didn't say nothing so I didn't get no cleaning fees so that was good even though it was like over a thousand dollars to rent that thing but how else am I going to get to Texas? You know, it's like I'm not going to fly because if I if you fly now, they they lock you up in a hotel for two weeks. I'm not going to do that. And um, yeah, so I thought, okay, well, I got to drive. I'm not going to drive my own car. I sold my car in Denver, and I bought a car when I got here. And so yeah, that was really the only way to get here. So if I'm going to drive here, I might as well yeah drive a U-Haul. And yeah, I mean I have a really nice bed. I and I don't want to have to go shop. And that's another thing I don't like to buy new or is furniture. So I didn't want to have to go shop for used furniture when I got here. So I got all my used furniture in storage, which isn't a lot, but still, you know, it's something that you need when I do finally do find a place. And no, I'm not having any luck yet finding a place. I did see this one fixer upper that I'm kind of sort of looking for something similar, but the problem is it's not close enough to anything. I want to be close to like a grocery store at least. So in case that way, if I get stuck with the place, if something happens and prices fall and I can't make enough money to make it make sense to sell, then that way I'm at least stuck in somewhere I pref I wouldn't mind me in. So that's what's going to take me a while. It's probably going to take me a while to find something. Anyway, um, that was just, I guess, kind of a short rant. So just so you, how you have an idea how I got myself down here. And... Um, yeah, it wasn't as bad as I thought. I thought that because usually when I drive for like eight, more than eight hours at a time, I get pains like up in my upper back, but it didn't hurt me at all like to drive that far. I'm surprised. I guess it's just because it was a U-Haul and the way you sit up maybe, I don't know, compared to like slouching more in a car. I don't know if it was that or what, but it was pretty comfortable. And I had an ice chest in there and my drinks. And I had I had everything mapped out where I might eat, where I might stay. The hotel was a pleasant surprise. I didn't plan on that one, but I kind of thought, well, that's convenient because it's close to the pizza place. It's close to the the um, the highway. I have to get back on, so I stayed at that one. I can't even remember the name of it, but it was really close to the pizza place. Anyway. I guess that's enough ranting for now. Hope you enjoyed it. If you like more videos, like to see more sexy videos, then I do have OnlyFans. Take care.